So we just casually having our production meeting real quick and then look who pulls up. What? You spying on us? Get it done, man. Period. Next generation right here. Hey. Lena's always supportive. She's always there to lend a hand. Um, if I ever have any questions or need a little direction on something, anything you know that she says is you know food for thought. You definitely should consider it. Hello. <laughs> All right. We just got back from the meeting. Yeah. So uh, I think it went pretty swimmingly. How do you? Yeah. How do you feel? At the we only had one note. We only had one note. I mean, it's a big note. And the note, note was <laughs> to change the entire story. <laughs> I think it's just awesome. Yeah. It's a completely different story that you're not passionate about. Find find the one that is. Yeah, you no, no, I, mean? I, li I like so. the story. I just don't know it yet. So it's due tomorrow. It looks like I'm rewriting the whole story. I think I really have to start from scratch because if not, it's going to be just like a hodgepodge. So this is gonna be interesting. Hey everyone, your boy just got tickets to New York. I've never shot something in New York before, but I can't wait to learn, I can't wait to fail, I can't wait to make a dope film. A lot of times when you have, you have a project which is written by a member of a minority community, but um, people who are not in that minority community do it. But sometimes it's not always the vision that people want it to be or what people think it should be. If one out of 30, I say with uh, complete confidence, this is the guy. We are in the full screen offices and look at that, look at that. It's almost midnight. What am I doing here? There's no one here. I'm shot listing. I'm a huge Barcade, or I don't even need to scout these. I already know which ones are on the top of my list and which ones aren't because, I mean, let's be honest, one of the reasons I picked this script is because it has super dope set pieces and dope locations that I am already like very into spending my time at. We are nearing the script lock phase. Luckily, Brittany is a uh, 3 a.m. writer. Right now, I'm studying abroad at Cambridge, so there have been a lot of late nights when I've been balancing my work on my script with my work on my dissertation. I think they will, will sort something out. After spending hours together, I can officially say that the script is locked. I am super excited and super exhausted. I wish there was a word that combined those two feelings, but... I know that the script is in excellent hands and Jessica is going to do a great job. Casting update. We are um, heading very quickly into the production on our film um, and casting happens super fast. It feels last minute, but that's the way things go. This is your daily reminder to tread lightly as you make your way to class. I'm being discriminated against. Oh, she fat shamed me. My platform is now and has always been wellness. Hello. <laughs> Aren't those so fun? I love watching these very passionate little kids. Jessica has a lot of kids in her short, and um, we actually just got a huge link of great casting selects for all the kids. It's just, this is why casting is so much fun, because you have so many of these ideas, and then you worry and you stress, because you're like, I have to find somebody that can actually embody this, and then when it happens, it's just so exciting. I know. <laughs> Life is going to be good. But also the movie will be good. <laughs> 15 edits in the last couple of days. It's It's been like back and forth and back and forth. We have a really big opportunity here um, to talk with firsthand with some people, some friends of ours in the trans community, especially um, women, trans women of color. Malachi and I, um, have been doing as much as we can to have that resource in in this whole writing experience. I think it it imbues our script with a lot of integrity. So I'm really excited to keep working on it, but I'm also really excited to get this in a place where we can move to the next step and start shooting. 
<laughs> We're currently in the early stages of the prep process. And so today I just got done storyboarding here with Michael, um, which has been a really cool experience. And really just figuring out what our chrysalis scene entails for our intro. We got the crazy script where we have this kid in the very beginning breaking out of this cocoon. And so it's really about his emergence into manhood and finding himself. So storyboarding has really helped me take what the shots were in my head and just put them into fruition. Cookies and Crowleys. You heard it here first. I am actually headed to Echo Park right now. I'm finna go to Ava's Array office um, down there because I have a little spot that they carved me out so I can set up my little production office. I'm gonna go hang up the script. I'm gonna hang up the lookbook. I'm really hoping to lock down Dasha Polanco as Jimena for my lead role. I got my little hopes up. Um, to me, in my mind, there's nobody else to play this part. They said she was available. They said she was interested. We didn't already pushed our shoot a week uh, pending her cruise. So she mine. She just don't know she mine yet. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. I wrote until like 4.30. Yeah, I just feel a little unsettled about it, but I'm trying to just trust my gut in writing something that's a stronger narrative and more clear, more concise. So we'll see if that's true. 